letters and numbers with challenges classic and balanced like fine wine for discerning minds. So mellow out and enjoy some zesty problem solving as we meet the young but astonishingly complex Lily Cerner. Hi, Richard. Now, Lily, do you enjoy, for example, you know, heading out to a vineyard or a, a, a cellar door tasting or something like that? I actually really do. Um, and earlier this year, in my, on my birthday, a group of my friends and I went up for the whole weekend and um, went wine tasting and drank wine. Wow, so you actually stayed, like, in a, in a wine region for a couple of days. Yeah, the Hunter Valley. Sounds like a great idea. Welcome, Lily. And semantically smooth with an active palate, David Astor. <laughs> Thank you. You probably, I'm sure, enjoy a little glass or two of wine, but you probably enjoy the language of wine too, wouldn't you? Very true. In fact, I saw in a, uh, a wine shop uh, a couple of months ago one of those tasting wheels where all the different uh, words to describe the, the palate of wine. I haven't seen one of those. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, they, there's the sort of citric quadrant uh, where everything's like a lychee or black currant, and then there's sort of Cigar box and bird Anzac and... <laughs> and mown grass, I think, is my favourite. When they say, oh, yes, I can de oh, definitely mown grass. It really highlights that, uh, in fact, flavour is a very difficult thing to uh, articulate. And I think they've done a great job. It's a fascinating just to see those sorts of uh, wheels and spectrums. Some great words for, for flavours and, and the smells. Mm, uh, very you know, much. The nose of wine. Lovely stuff. Welcome, David. Thank you. And two people hoping for some lively competition tonight. Our contestants starting with our new carryover champion, secondary school teacher Carla Treves. Hello again Carla. Hello Richard. And it was a very exciting finale uh, last night and you were telling us last night that you, you loved animals of all sorts because you would actually seriously have liked to have been a zookeeper. Oh definitely when I was younger I'd always enjoy going to the zoo and even as an adult I do and just love seeing the conservation efforts and the protection of those animals. Great stuff. Well, good luck in the future and welcome back tonight. Thank you. And tonight's challenger is a software engineer who loves creating and participating in puzzle hunts. Jeff Bailey. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Richard. Now, a puzzle hunt. I actually don't know what one is. Uh, they're quite interesting. They're week generally week-long events consisting of uh, four or five puzzles a day that are designed for teams of people to solve. And what makes them unusual in puzzles is that you're not told what you have to do. You're given a bunch of information, it may be a set of pictures or locations or something that looks like a crossword but isn't actually a crossword, and you have to unravel the hidden structure in it to get to the answer that the people who created it have in mind. I don't think we're going to ask you to use your brain cells quite that much tonight, <laughs> but good to know they've had that sort of practice. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. All the best tonight to our contestants, Carla Treves and Jeff Bailey. <laughs> Time to meet a few characters in our first letters game of the night. And uh, Carla, as carryover champion, you get the first choice. Uh, can I please start with a consonant? Sure. Let's start with G. And another, please. S. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. A. And another vowel, please. I. And can I have a consonant? D. And another consonant, please. M. And another vowel. O. And a consonant, please. And last letter, P. And I'll start the clock. Letters for tonight, Carla, how did you go? I got a six. That's a good start, Jeff. And a seven for me. Hold that for a moment. Your six? Poised. Your seven? Imposed. That's a good start, David, isn't it? Well, you've imposed yourself well, Jeff. It's a great seven. Well done. I thought there possibly was an eight here. I, I couldn't see it. So I did that trick, took the S aside and found magpies. Very nice. Well done, David. Seven points, a good start for Jeff. Well, another lot of letters without delay, Jeff. Uh, can I have a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with R. And a vowel? E. And a consonant? H. Another consonant, please? D. And a vowel? A. And a consonant? 
C. Another consonant. B. And a vowel. U. And a consonant. And last letter, T. Thanks, Lily. Here we go. First selection, Jeff. Another seven. Another seven. Sounds very good. Colour? Also a seven. Let's begin with yours. Chartered. And yours? Butcher. Butcher. Two good ones, David. Well done. Good uh, good game. Good sevens, of course. This was one of those mixes, Richard, where uh, I just uh, played along as the uh, letters spilled out so I could uh, see her in the first three, then heard with a D, then heard when the A arrived, then arched when the C came. I, I couldn't get better than a seven, however. Uh, breadth was another seven there. Nicely found, David, but well done to Carla and Jeff, 7 each. Mathletes, time to find safety in numbers now. Six numbers and the basic principles of maths, addition, subtraction, division and multiplication are all that you have to reach the randomly generated target number. Carla, what combo would you like? Um, I would like one large, five small, please, Lily. Thanks, Carla. One large, five small. And starting with the smalls, nine, seven... Four, nine, ten, and the large is 100. The target to reach is 219. Let's head there. with those first numbers of the night? 218. 218, just one away. What about you, Jeff? I was one off the other way, 220. 220, OK. Well, uh, Carla, you chose the numbers, so tell us what you did. OK, um, I started with 100. 100. Uh, putting that aside, I times the 10 with the 9 to get 90. Uh, 9 by 10 is 90. Yeah, and then 100 plus the 90 is 190. 190. And then I times the 4 by the 7 to get 28. 4 by 7 is 28. And then plus the 190 is 218. 218. Sorry. 218, just one away. Now, Jeff, you're uh, one away the other way, so what did you do? All right. So with 9 plus 9 is 18. 9 plus 9 is 18. Multiply that by 7 to get 126. By the 7 is 126. 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 4 is 6. Subtract that to get 120. Is 120. And add the 100. And the other 100 is 220. So, very nice work uh, for both of you. You're only one away. But, Lily, we won 219. <laughs> you just, got that, didn't you? I, I did, but I'm just amazed at the um, 18 by the 7 and... Um, it's very impressive. And 190 plus 28, and it, it was actually much simpler. Um, 9 minus 7 is 2 by 100. Whoops, that's 100. <laughs> is uh, 200, and then add the 10 and add the other 9 is 219. <laughs> uh, but you've got to see that simplicity in the numbers and see that pattern. So uh, well found, Lily. But great efforts, as Lily was just pointing out, great efforts indeed from Carla and Jeff. They were only one away, so they each scored seven points. So Carla's now on 14. Jeff is on 21 as we head for our first break. Your first word mix for tonight. It's Storm Q. And the clue, a person who is always right. See you after this. Yeah. 